here I am. Your first view of me. Um, I'm going to turn around now so you're not going to look at me. You're going to laugh at my funny gecko and I'm... Um, my gecko. I don't know why I said that. My get up. And um, you're going to laugh at my swishy pants because they're weather... Um, resistant pants and they swish and they swash. You can hear the goats from here. I'm going to feed my goats. There are the dogs. They always think they're going to come with. Stay. That's Raven and that one's Sadie. Raven actually is a good girl and could go if she really, really wanted to, but Sadie's a bad dog and wants to kill the goats, so she doesn't get to go. Anyways, so I have decided I am going to start vlogging, and this is my very first one. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. I know a lot of people sit in front of their cameras and talk, but I don't really want to sit in front of my camera and talk. I really want to just um, videotape throughout a week or two weeks or three weeks and um, put videos, clip them together. Um, and uh, piece them together and then I will make a hey guys make a make a video there's <laughs> yeah Snickers we know Snickers always does that hi Dash Dash is the miniature donkey and that's dark one is Snickers and the other one is Rolo. They're Nigerian dwarf goats. And he is a Mediterranean, Mediterranean miniature donkey. Yes, a wooly one. He's got lots of hair. And he's only seven months old. But he'll get a little bit bigger, but he's not going to get very big. So anyways, I'm down here in the morning feeding them. So this is my first, like I was saying, my first vlog. Never done it before. I don't know if I'm doing it right. But what I'm going to do... How I'm going to do it is I am going to, um, I am going to videotape throughout, throughout the, uh, through maybe a course of a week or, um, or the course of, um, a couple weeks, depending on how I feel. I have an illness, a chronic illness, and, um, I'll share more about that later. But um, I don't always feel good, so um, so I uh, sometimes things take me a little bit longer, and so um, I'm gonna try to do it every other week, I think, to try to update the videos. But um, but uh, yeah. So anyways, there we go. I'm gonna try, but we'll see if that happens. Sometimes it'll be maybe a week, maybe it'll be two weeks. It all, um, it all kind of depends. Why do you have to be everywhere constantly? Constantly everywhere, all of you guys. So this is our morning feeding routine. My mom actually fed them for me last night, which was nice. I wasn't feeling well. Oh, I've got to open the door. Ow, let me get this shut off. Okay, I just walked into the tax shed, which is a good thing because it was really hard to do with even two hands. Um, anyway, so this is the bear tack room right now. I am um, going to get boarders, people to rent my other two stalls, and uh, that's where their stuff is going to go. There's the cleaning stuff. Here are some uh, pellets and stuff like that. Uh, there's my tack. Stuff and then my I've yet to organize my um, my stuff really I'm just kind of moving back in so um, okay so here are the feed tubs they I feed my guys orchard hay now they kind of just graze throughout the day they eat it they in individual they end up bleh, eating it um, all usually by dinner time, <laughs> by the time it's time for dinner, but um, they're they're not fat and they're not skinny, and so I figure I must be doing it right. I'm sure people will disagree with me, but um, 
I like my system. I mean, it could be better, but the reason is I'm just blabbling. Um, is that I um, I feed them now. I'm feeding them alfalfa pellets. And each bucket, you'll notice, kind of gets the same amount, whether it's for the donkey or, or the goat. Um, goats. Um, I have a more pellets than that one. And so, um, so it doesn't really matter because they switch. They go back and forth, the donkey will eat there, the donkey will eat here, the goats will eat there, the goats will eat there. They kind of move around. Snickers usually likes to um, hang out. He likes to usually stand and eat in the big bucket. Now I'm going to set you down in the hay for a quick second while I go out the door. Nice view. Hang in there. Hang with me. Stepping outside, kids are crying, picking up the camera. It's gonna be wiggly. There I am. Now where are they? What are you guys doing? Why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? I got dirt in my shoes. Oh, it's food time. Is that what it is? Silly me. on top of you, stupid goat. Goats are not very smart. I'm sorry if you're a goat lover. I like them. I like them. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not a goat lover. I'm a donkey lover. Yes. And they're both eating, huh? See? Snickers is in the bucket. Now Dash is eating out from over there. Oh, everyone wants to eat from the little bucket. Oh, no. Dash decided not to. He's he's more interested in me filming at this moment than eating. There we go. So they usually go for the alfalfa pellets first. Those taste the yummiest. Not because they're, but he's eating the hay first. But um, but uh, there he goes, getting alfalfa in there. Um, they like the alfalfa better. It's a sweeter tasting hay. It's more yummy. Um, and then they eat the orchard later. And then um, here are the minerals. This, this is minerals for the goats, and then this is baking soda for the goats. When goats get uh, bloated, they um, have a natural need for baking soda. And so they come over here and they lick a little bit of it, and then they, uh, here's their bloat. And then now they're all eating at the big one. And they're kind of in the bucket. Poor Dash, I really feel bad for him. Well, I guess if I felt bad, I would do something out of it. If I felt bad, actually, I don't feel bad because he's bigger. If he really wanted him out of his bucket, he could toss him out of his bucket. So maybe I don't feel bad. Um, water bowl, but I'm gonna change that because I found a serious flaw. Like I said, I'm just um, water. This is an automatic water dish, but looks like Dash is sort of using it because, or played, somebody played with it because there's sawdust in there. And so, um, and so yes, but this water has got to change because I found out that I can't clean it out right. I mean, it's huge. And I can't drag it to the corner, dump it, and then drag it back and fill it back up all the time. So I'm going to give the goats, I'll see if this works and it may not work. What? I'm going to give the goats a hanging water bucket, which is going to be, it's got to be low, and so I'm hoping Dash will continue to drink out of this bucket if I hang a lower bucket for the goats. So I don't really know exactly how that's going to plan out, but uh, we'll, we'll just see. That's part of the process of getting everything started. This is my first time having a donkey. These are kind of my first time having goats. I had a goat before, but I just kind of threw them back here with a horse, and I didn't really do much, um, much, I mean, you know, I was nice to them and all, but, um, anyways, so, okay, so here we go. Thank you for watching, 
and um, more to come. Oh, later uh, today, Dash is going to get his belly shaved because he, um, where I got him, they, she had a lot of donkeys and so she wasn't able to groom them all. And so he's got mats on his belly, so we are going to shave part of his belly and I will videotape part of that. Alrighty. Alright, this is Emma and this is Dash. You guys saw Dash earlier eating. This is his first time seeing the clippers. And um, what we're doing, we just want to clip his belly because he has mats on his belly. But he's definitely showing nervousness towards clippers, which is understandable. So we're just taking it slow. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to move in case he decides to hop over to that direction. No, he's like, I don't want some food. <laughs> Tell me if you want me to do anything. Okay, come here, little guy. Come here. That's a good boy. They are just getting to know ya. Good job, buddy. That's a good boy. I guess they're not that bad. Get those mats off. Yeah, he's actually really pretty good about letting me touch his um, his whole body. He picks up his feet pretty nicely and Come here. Good, boy. good step up. No, he's like, now, now I'm going to leave. I did what you wanted. You're not allowed to leave. I'm sorry. Where are your scissors? Oh, my scissors are in... So we're, we're still getting along, we're making sure that he knows that Emma's not scary and that she's here not to hurt him. This is his first time meeting Emma, so Emma wants to make sure that she um, befriends him before she does something scary and she's giving him treats and hay and stuff like that and he's, he's leaving. <laughs> he's like, so far I don't like what you're doing to me in there. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's stronger than he looks. Come on. Here, let's try the treat thing again. I don't want to get used to bribing him, but. Come here. All the way in. Come on. All right, put two legs in. How about that? Come on. Up, up. Come on. Up. Come on. No, that's not going to do any good. All right, so now we're, we're outside. Dash has decided that he prefers to be outside, so we're not going to push it too much, and we're going to let him be outside. Um, we're just, Emma is just clipping away with scissors the, the mats that she finds and then we'll shave it to make it, um, to make it better. Size, so it's not choppy. Yes, exactly. I know no one can see it, but we know it's there. <laughs> Alright, he was being perfect, and then I said, I want to go grab my video camera, and now he's not being perfect. He was standing here. Good boy. Come here, Dash. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Good boy. No. Nope. no. Alright, we'll just scoot back your way then. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. So what we've decided to do is we've decided just to, good boy, good boy, is what we've decided to do is just, nope, is um, just to uh, 
comb out most of the mats. Oh. And, um, nope. Nope, nope, okay. nope. And, um, and cut some of the mats with scissors instead of shave. He was being okay with the shaving. I mean, we could do it, but um, we decided that it actually looks pretty, you can't look, see it anyways. Hope, hope, hope. Okay, get back. <laughs> Come on, Stan. And so, um, so yes, we've decided not to shave it. So we're just gonna cut and brush out all the, no, don't bunk her in the head. I'm lay down. Um, so yeah, so that's what we've decided to do. And you can't even tell. I mean, you couldn't tell really that there were mats under there in the first place, but now um, it's just all the mats are gone, which must feel a little bit better. Here's the garbage can. There's mats in the garbage can. So um, he's doing pretty good. All right, so we finished. He was definitely being really squirrely there at the at the end and um but he uh we finished on a good note we're trying to finish on a good note we want him to stand there quietly for a few seconds and then we'll take the halter off and he'll be a good boy so yeah his belly looks much better now next i'm just going to give him a bath with my friend breezy and that'll be next to uh, be seen on Dash's makeover. So there you go. Alright, good lad. Alright, you could probably take his halter off now if you think. And you're free! You're free! Wee! He's like, wait, where? I want the cookies. What? Good boy. Alright, going down to feed the goats and my donkey, Dash. Stay. Good dogs. You can hear them. What are you guys doing? All right, I'm gonna turn this off until I get in the tax shed. All right, now I'm in the tax shed. Um, I actually, both of the goats went out on the cement area and so I locked them out. So they're, they're stuck out there. Dash is pretty good and doesn't go in. So I'm gonna get their feed tub. So morning feeding is very similar then the evening in fact it is so similar it's exactly the same thing and so i am going to do that shut dash so okay so on the other one i said that I have a chronic illness, and while we were doing the um, while we were doing the filming um, of the of the trimming, um, uh, I uh, of his belly trimming, I um, was sitting down in the chair uh, most of the time, and um, so anyway, so. I have an illness. I have an illness called um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and um, it it sucks. And I have other stuff too. Most people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome have a host of other stuff too. I've got pots, gastroparesis, um, you know, stuff like that. How did did you get in? Oh no, for some reason I thought he got in. So, um, so that's my illness. So, in pertains to that, hold on, I'm gonna set you down in the feed dish. I'll face you, maybe you can see me a little bit or not. 
I don't know. Okay, so anyways, so sometimes I won't get my videos filmed. I won't be able to hand them, or hand them, I'm handing the animals their hay. Um, hand, I may not be able to get them up right away, um, but you may also see me with other people. You may also see me taking lots of breaks, not being able to do things. And that's all because of my um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome um, that, I, that I have, EDS it's also called. And um, so yeah, but I, I recently started feeling better a few weeks ago. And we kind of just jumped on it. And um, a lot of people are praying for me and stuff. And so I just jumped on it and uh, got some animals got Dash last week, last Monday, and it's Friday today, and the goats I got two weeks ago, and uh, yeah, so it's exciting. And then, like I said in my other videos, I'm going to get borders, so I'm going to put a horse here, and then I'm going to board a horse here. And then um, my little animals have their little outdoor area. And then there is um, a horse trail right on the other side of this wall. And that leads up to the, um, the park, the uh, Heritage Equestrian Center, which has um, a round pin and uh, all that good stuff. Arena is all that kind of stuff. Whoops, I almost forgot to lock you guys in. All right, so cool. So someday we'll see the arena and all of the heritage park that I was talking to you about. So we're all eating out of the little bucket together. They're so strange. You hear the crunching. They're really going for the alfalfa pellets first. Did you guys already eat all the alfalfa pellets from there? Nope, there's still some in there. Oh, kind of bright, can't really see. All right, so that was the nighttime feeding ritual. Very similar to the morning ritual. Exactly the same, in fact. Except for the door shuts at nighttime and it opens in the morning. Um, so thank you for watching that and um, Everybody, we say goodnight.